Hey, David from Peaks and Cells again. This time we're doing a software video, how to set up a method on Shimazu's Lab Solution software. Let's get started. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to go to the main section here and click on data acquisition and you'll get this screen. And you wanna create a new method file. So you're on the screen, you can click new method file or you can just start programming the method file here. So let's drag this up and as you'll see here, all the parameters are here. Normally it might be defaulted on the normal tab, but I always like to go into the advanced tab. It just gives me more control over the method. The first section here is the LC stop time. As you can see, we wanna change that to the time of the run. So if you have a 15 minute run, this is gonna be 15. And then you click apply to all acquisition. You see that? So it changes everything to 15 minutes. If you wanted the PDA to collect for a shorter amount of time, then you can just limit this to a lower amount of time. So now let's go into the LC time program. Over here, this is kind of where you set your gradients. Or if it's an isocratic method, you don't really have to do anything. If you're gonna do your gradient, this is where you're gonna to wanna to do it. I typically like to jump ahead to the pump tab to specify my starting conditions. So my starting conditions say, I'm gonna have my flow rate be one mil a minute. And then this is the starting conditions of the run. Say on the beginning of the run, I want it to be 100% water. So I'll just have my starting B conditions be zero. The compressibility settings are typically automatically set for the solvent you're gonna choose, but you can change that if you would like. So now that we go back to the LC time program, we can now set the gradient. So say for example, at one minute, we want our B concentration to be 10%. And at six minutes, we want the pump B concentration to be 90. And then say maybe at 12 minutes, we want the pump concentration to go back down to 10. This is kind of how you set it up. There's no need to program A because it's obvious if B is a concentration, then A has to be 100% less that percentage. And now we draw the curve, see? There you go. So this is our method, we got the pump set. Here's the PDA settings. This is if you want to limit the wavelengths that you'll be collecting in. If you, you can leave it on for the full wavelength, it's just gonna create larger data files for you. Next is the column oven, pretty straightforward. You specify that. The controller, if you had different outputs, but you typically leave this area alone. And lastly, the auto sampler, you can specify the injection speed here, the rinsing speed and volumes, and the purge time. Lastly, auto purge, this is the flushing conditions that are typically set. You can tell it to auto purge if you want over here. So we can do that and we can do that. Okay, and now that everything is done, we can go ahead and save the method, save method file as, let's just call this one demo method two. And so we're done and that's how you set up a method. I hope you enjoyed that. If you found that this how to create a method video was helpful, like and subscribe. If you have any comments on how I could do it better, leave those comments below and I'll read them and then I'll take your ideas and I'll use them, I'll reshoot the video and claim those ideas for my own. See you next time. <laughs>